Okay, so let's see how we can install Jenkins on Windows. Although it's a pretty simple installation, uh, you just need to follow the instructions given on the install setup. So, but before that, uh, we just need to get a copy of Jenkins on our machine. So let's see how we can do that, right? So let's first go to the uh, Jenkins official page. So Jenkins, go and search Jenkins download and uh, it should take you to the Windows download page. Okay, just like, let me take a step back, right? So, yeah, so this is the download page and here you will find different versions. Um, now you can search for which operating system you are looking for. So we are looking for Windows. So go, in, go ahead and click that. Now to save some time, um, I already downloaded the setup, right? So it's present here. And once you launch the setup, you just need to follow basically the instructions given here. You just need to click on next. Um, so it's already installed on my machine. So it's asking me to repair or remove, but you just follow, uh, click on next. Then it will ask you for a, a destination directory and then click next and it will complete the installation and click on finish, right? So, yeah, um, so once you click on finish, right, it is going to open up uh, this unlock Jenkins page. So once the installation is complete, it will ask you for a password, which is already stored in your Jenkins installation folder, right? So the path is given here. Uh, it's under my Jenkins secrets and initial admin password. So this is an extra uh, authentication provided by Jenkins. So it was not that previously, but with the newer versions, uh, this has been introduced by Jenkins. So let's go to that page, uh, that folder. So here is my Jenkins folder. Here is the secrets and here is my initial admin password, right? So uh, let's open this. And so this is my password, copy that and paste it here and continue, right? So uh, by default, uh, your Jenkins will uh, load on the local host 8080, but uh, if you want to change it, then um, in the same folder, in the Jenkins folder, you will find another file called Jenkins.xml, right? So once you edit this file, here you will see HTTP port, right? So it's set to 8080, but if you want to change it for your system, then go ahead and put um, any port on this, right? So whenever you try to launch Jenkins, um, just type localhost 8080 or the port address which you have given. Now, this is going to take some time uh, just to set up uh, and start Jenkins on your machine, but uh, I'm not going to wait for so long. Um, you can go ahead and try this, right? So in the next module, we'll see how we can um, start install some plugins and also we'll create a new build and try to run that build right